Hey everybody, this is Doug with Artfully Rogue, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to level up your game in the workshop by adding a plasma cutter. In addition, I'm gonna share with you some of the tips and tricks that I have learned along the way. All right, so there are three things that I consider when buying new tools and putting them in my shop. One is budget, functionality, and intended use. Now with budget, I typically don't buy low-end or inexpensive tools because they just don't last in my shop. High-end tools also won't make it in my shop because I'm not into the brand name. So I'm usually kind of a mid-range kind of guy. Now functionality, I want to know that I can use them in my shop when I need to use them. That means duty cycle. How long can I use it before it has to cool down? What's the power requirement? Things of that nature. Intended use. I typically do stainless sheet, mild steel sheet, and on occasion some thicker plate. Now, that's kind of a wide range of things, so I need a tool that can handle that. When looking for a plasma cutter, that's why the Art Captain Cut 55 MP checks all those boxes, and I'm going to show you how. So, here's why I like the Art Captain Cut 55 Pro. One, super rugged. All right, this little machine is metal sides, impact resistant plastic on the ends, and it's portable. That's really nice because I move these machines all throughout the shop and outside often. So I wanna know that I can just run with it outside real quick, bring it back inside, and I don't have to lug around some heavy machine. Another cool feature and why I like this machine is the fact that it has IGBT inverter technology. Now, what does IGBT stand for? It means Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor. So, why does that matter? Well, old school plasma cutters used to be transformer based, which means they were less efficient, they were heavy, and it was a very unstable arc. So basically what that means is power coming from the wall goes into the machine, gets converted into high frequency using IGBTs, and high frequency means better precision. Another cool feature is the fact that it's 100% duty cycle at 55 amps. So what does that mean? Duty cycles are measured in 10 minute blocks. So if a machine says that it has a 60% duty cycle at say 55 amps, that means it can run for about six minutes and then needs to cool down for four. But 100% duty? This means it can run for the full 10 minutes and not have to cool down at all. That is perfect for me in my shop because there's a lot of metal that I need to cut during my day and I don't have time to take breaks. All right, here's kind of my first tip when you're looking at buying a plasma cutter, all right? Find something that has a digital display like the Cut 55 MP, all right? Super easy to switch modes between here. Let me show you what I've got. Right now, I'm connected to 240 volt and that's indicated here in the very top. You have your amperage settings, so you can change your amperage. Now at 240 volts, you can go up to 55 amps. Now if you're going to 110, I believe you can go to 35 amps. Then you have your modes, which is cutting, grid cutting, which is when you cut mesh or expanded metal. You have gouging when you need to remove weld. And then you also have rust removal. That's also kind of a cool setting. I'm gonna go through all of those and show you those. And that's where you're gonna get some of these tips that I use on a daily basis. You also have function. Now the 2T function is if you have your torch handle and you push down, it's going to ignite and start the process. When you release, it's going to stop the process. So then you have the 4T method, which is you push the trigger and you can release and the arc will stay going on. This is great for long cuts. And then to turn it off, you have to push and release again and it will turn the arc off. Now another part of the function is PT. This is post flow time, so this is how long you want the air to, to flow through the nozzle after you have stopped cutting. This helps to extend the life of your consumables. You can set this time in between five and 15 seconds. You have another function in here, which there's PT, we're gonna get here. PA mode, pilot arc, enables the non-touch arc start, all right? That means you can have a small pilot light lit and not have to touch your material. And this is great for like dirty or, or rusted materials. Now you also have your air, all right? You can switch between PSI and MBA. If you're in the metric world, that's MBA. And then you can purge your machine if necessary. This is your PSI or your air pressure. Now this is controlled at the back of the machine. You'll see here right now where you can actually dial your machine down 
or up. And then you can dial it back down if you need to, depending on the material that you're actually using. And another cool thing about this Cut 55 MP is low frequency arc stabilization. Well, what's that? Well, it just means that you can cut through rusty metal. And for me, that's really important. Rusty metal is one of the things that I work with all the time in many of my products. Now we're going to see what this machine can do. And I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks that will help you be more efficient in the shop when using a plasma cutting machine. So here's one of the very first things that I do when I get a machine. I measure between the outside of this guide and the center of the hole. Now I'll mark that on a piece and then I'll take a tape measure and I'll measure that which in this case is about 3 eighths of an inch. Then I'm going to make a little guide that I cut and put a clip on and I'll leave that with the machine. This way, if I want to make a cut, let's say I have a line here and I want to quickly line up my guide, all I need to do is line up here and here and now I know exactly where I'm going to be guiding and cutting. And that leads me to my next tip. I always make sure that I have a guide clamped to the material that I'm going to be cutting and on a solid surface. Now I'll also do a practice run without the machine on to make sure that I have no obstructions in my way. Here I'm cutting 16 gauge 304 stainless. Nice clean cut. Now, 16 gauge mild steel sheet. And extremely rusted core 10 steel, also 16 gauge. This is 3 16 mild steel plate. And this is half inch steel flat bar. and 3 16 aluminum flat bar. All right, so that's cutting. Let's take a look at some of the other functions. And let's check out grid cutting. Now in my business, I build a lot of custom metal water features. And one of the materials that I typically use in the water features is a stainless mesh. Oftentimes I'll use a cutoff wheel, but with the Cut 55 MP, I should be able to cut with the plasma cutter and it won't cut out on me when I'm cutting. And now, gouging. Now I'm not sure why anybody would want to use this other than the fact that you use it to get rid of weld, um, but why wouldn't you just use a grinder or some other type of grinding tool? But this is interesting, not something I think I would use except for I tried this on some half inch plate and it has some pretty cool artistic possibilities. Keep an eye out for future videos. I might come up with something really kind of fun with this particular function. Next, let's look at rust removal. The rust stripping mode is also kind of interesting as well. This is gonna take some practice, but as you can see, it does remove rust. But what I've noticed with this is it doesn't handle removing rust from thinner steel. You need to make sure that you have a thicker piece of steel. If not, you'll easily burn through the steel. And you have to make sure that the height of the torch is set just high enough to remove the rust and not so low that it will burn through. All right, I'll be the first one to tell you this next feature I wasn't so sure about. I thought for sure, why would anybody use this? It's an app to control the machine. When you're working in the shop, your machine's right there. Why wouldn't you just reach over and make the changes? Who needs an app? But then I found myself in a position where it came in handy. Let me explain. So I was doing work underneath my welding table. I have to make an adjustment and I needed the plasma cutter to make a small cut. But when I tried to make the cut, 
I didn't have the amperage up high enough. And now I have to get out from underneath the table, go back up here and try to do what I need to do. Except I have the app. So now I can actually click on that and it'll bring up what I'm looking at. And I can adjust the amperage right here. I can literally change the amperage simply by moving the app. I can bring it up to 52. I can change the pilot arc time. I can change the cutting mode. If I want to go to uh, continuous cutting, I just have to go to continuous cutting. If I need to remove some rust, I can remove some rust. If I need to do some gouging, which I'm not sure why I would gouge, but I can do that. It's really kind of cool. If I can set my operation from 2T, now let's see, continuous cutting, that also offers 4T, which changes it there, go back to 2T. This is like actually not too bad. So I actually found a use for this feature despite thinking that it was kind of useless. And it's a great way to have fun if you're working with somebody in the shop. You can slightly lower the amperage on them and they'd never even know. Okay, there you go. What are you waiting for? It's time to level up your game in the shop. Go to the link in the description and get 5% off the Arc Captain Cup 55 MP. You can do it today, you can have it, and you can start playing in the shop. Let's do it.